Alright guys, I'm going to show you the sick rug peak bunker. I mean shooting, it's not like a bunker in terms of like bunkering up your core, but this is like just like a little shooting bunker thing. It looks like a little something like this from the inside. And get in, get inside from the side here. And got an interesting little secret storage. It's not pretty secret, except that, I mean, it would be secret because you have a door here. And it'll be hidden behind. It'll be hidden in an airlock, which many people are trying to skip past when they raid your base. You got storage here and you got some grenades maybe some guns and you'll be able to crouch shoot the guy coming through I don't know either the front wherever he's coming in right you can come from over there you got pretty good coverage around your base now here's an empty one and I mean you could just leave it empty you don't need any of the other things but if you want to like punch up the quality of life first thing you do is add some rugs that way when he's shooting you you'd have to waste a whole AK mag to get through the rug and to give it an even better peak you can clip a barricade like this slightly make sure you clip it a little bit because you want to be able to walk around here and I mean this isn't that great because you have to stand and shoot the AK so what you want is campfire in a small box and ideally you put the campfire in the airlock that way you get full crouching ability around here like this come in here now you crouch awesome recoil careful of the hitbox I'm not too sure why there's explo in this gun right now but Yeah, it's quite an interesting way to do a little bunker. And make sure you like, right up on it, that way you can shoot over it. I mean, these things aren't that hard to replace, either. They're just only like, what? 100 stone? So just put, have like a bunch of them in here, a bunch of rugs in one of these. That way you can easily just replace it. And same thing goes for the rugs, you just easily replace it. And to make it even better, because like I was saying, it, it does cost a whole AK spray to get through the rug. You can double up the rug on the outside. Now it's two AK sprays. And I can get a rocket here. I mean, see, the idea is that you want them to waste a rocket. Let me get a rocket launcher. Maybe they shoot an HV and then Best case scenario, they actually shoot a rocket at this. Demonstrate that. So, let me be back here. I mean, they gotta, they gotta snake a HV in that little crack right there. So, I'll shoot right at the rug. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Okay, so it takes two HV rockets to <laughs> blow out a rug. Let's see the barricade. Alright, barricade takes... Hold on, hold on. That wasn't really a viable test here. I did shoot. I <laughs> already shot an HV at it. Oh, it looks like all your loot would be on the ground after that. There was a bunch of loot in here. So maybe don't put the... Maybe the barricades and the rugs in this box. Those boxes are just meant for DC recoil. I mean, worst case scenario, you got an HV rocket coming at you. Yeah, so it's, it would appear that barricades and rugs take two HV rockets. Not bad, not bad. And let's just shoot a rocket directly at it. I know it's not. I've already shot a rocket at it. But let's, just, let's just see what happens here. Everything should go down, I think. I, don't know, I 
can't really say that that was perfectly got in there, but you can see they got to shoot a rocket in between these two uh, wall entities there. So you can see how viable that is for defense. And to get everything back up, like you'd be in here crouched, you wouldn't be able to shoot you. Look, you're, you're already back in business. And I, I mean, if you would be back in business in the box department, but these are just like a hundred woods, not a big deal. So we'll uh, get to building it. So depending on where your entrance is to your base, you might have to have these foundations uh, lowered to start. Now on the other side here, I am hiding a bunker like the bunker design so you can see that wasn't uh, raised I mean these foundations are already raised is what I'm trying to say because that right there is the bunker into the base so there's kind of two ways that you're gonna have to build it which isn't a problem it's just it might cost a little bit more so you want to have those lowered to start this little octagon pad and you need a half wall there that way you can floor tiles here and put the hatch right there and that's how you get the, the secret loot storage down here so maybe you log off you might you put some stuff down there and so it's pretty simple it's just half walls The entrance here, get the little airlock thing over here. You can use double doors to increase mobility. It's up to you guys. All here. I'm gonna kick these things out. Get the low walls in. You could opt or a different type of design where you could go like this. You see this, you see the Giga Chads building like this. And the reason why that's actually better is because when they raid, if they raid that piece off, it's not hard to replace. And if they raid that piece off, it's kind of easy to replace. But if it's the other way around, what will happen is if they, if you go like this, put that low piece in there like that, and they raid that off, now you can't replace it. So just to inform you guys about doing it like this. You might maybe leave this in stone so you can repair it with a jackhammer. Because if they do end up breaking this piece, you could just take a jackhammer to the soft side and fix it. Right, that is kind of like a little rant, just to let you guys know about that. But uh, yeah, it's not much left to do here. It's just rugs and barricade. See for the rugs. Barricade. Look at the boxes. Make sure you can walk around here. And I was saying before, you want to can't fire like this. We can. You want to have auto crouch enable too. If you guys don't have that, go to your console. Type in auto crouch space one. And that way, when you go over this fireplace, you don't have to hit the crouch button. If you want to get out of there, you gotta hit the crouch button. But to go in, you can see it's just by holding the W key. And uh, yeah, so it'll make it even better on the other side. Just double it up, the rugs. And you're looking at a pr pretty good little uh, bunker defense. A little shooting, shooting bunker. So I hope you guys found that video formative. Like, subscribe if you want to see some more, more, I don't know, unorthodox builds. <laughs> trying to really come up with the stuff by myself. I'm trying to reinvent the wheel. You know, there's a lot of really good, the rest has been out for a good while, but I'm, boy, there's so many builds you can do in this game. It's crazy. Uh, and yeah, so just the inside's pretty simple. You need mattress. 
and then your boxes. You could go like this. Get the maximum amount of loot in here. You might have to scan if you're like this. If you want to get the nice amount of box space and then yeah, so basically it guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.